guess I'm gonna make this part two of this trike build. I tech welded a fender on there. It's not completely on yet because I'm not sure what tire I'm going with. That tire is no good for a trike. It's too flat across to when you steer. It's up on its edge, so it's just riding on this little tiny edge. So that's not a good steer tire. But I rolled myself a nice little piece of metal here to support the plastic fender because you can't just put plastic on it, it'll bow and warp. So I got that done. And I moved my foot pegs down because I was able to weld in there because I did take the wheel off just so I could weld inside there so I could move my foot pegs down. They used to be on this hole. A little, a little uncomfortable. I rigged a one tractor seat on there on my piece of plywood that you guys saw me driving around with last time. Um, I had that big block engine on here and it handled terrible. It, it, it was just too much weight back there. I actually uh, kind of flipped over and, and bent that up. I scratched up my new handlebars and it banged myself up a little bit. Not, not terrible. I'm alive. But anyway, so since that big heavy engine, I didn't like it on there. I picked this engine up with one hand by its exhaust and set it on there. I replaced the engine plate, of course. And, you know, when I put something together, I put it together good. This one happened to be, had a brace in it. I had that welded up solid. I had weld across here. Um, you can see all the chisel marks and cut marks, but I didn't want this big heavy engine in my trike anymore. And so I ripped all that off, put on a new engine plate and a new support beam to it, rigged the uh, throttle cable to it, and I also put the Series 70 transmission on there, which kicks in at higher RPMs and shifts at higher RPMs, so this engine's got a fighting chance, and boy does it work good. It's nice and light now, handles great. We're going to take it out in a little while and show you what it does. Um, I did a couple wheelies on it and stuff and burnouts. It's out of fun. Okay, I have you guys on a helmet mount now. And uh, we're going to take a little ride. And see how this thing does. Uh, Mike, I call it the Mike Trait. I don't know what to call it yet. But it's a good ride. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Gotta hit it just right. There you go. That's better. <laughs> That's fun. Let's do that. Oh, I 
hope people enjoyed the ride. Let's let's take a look at this thing. So far, I got the new front tire on it. Seats in there, not done yet, but it's comfy. I put the small block engine on, and uh, everything works good. I like it. Well, I'm still working on the Michael cycle, but I had all kinds of fun trying to find that size front tire. First, I started with this tire. I got it on sale for like dirt cheap tractor supply. It was on clearance, so it was a couple bucks. And I bought that rim because it was a nice width. So that was okay, but the tire did not steer good at all. So I was looking for a knobby for that rim, which is an eight inch rim. And they don't make anything except for that. That's too big. Won't fit in there. So I got a hold of this wheel and I thought I'd get a tire for that. Well, that tire turned out to be very, very narrow. So I finally found a tire that's really nice for, oh, it's almost worn off, $6.99 on clear. And now everything runs and drives like it should. I just gotta get to finishing suspension seat, rear fenders, and little things. I'm gonna put a roll bar on too and maybe a seat belt, you know, but nothing big. And then I gotta tear it all apart and paint it. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But I'm out riding it and having fun like it is for now. So, that's it.